Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. This is the first video lecture on salivary gland series, so let's start. So in this session, uh, what we are going to cover, uh, we will study what is human saliva, what is the com chemical composition of saliva, the amount in pH of saliva secreted in a day, what are the functions of saliva with brief insight into each function. So watch this video till the end. So uh, human saliva, it is basically an exocrine fluid. And this exocrine fluid, it consists of 99% water. The remaining 1%, it comprises of variety of electrolytes and proteins. So what is the normal volume and the flow rate of saliva in a day? A salivary flow, it varies from 600 to 1000 ml per day. Uh, or in other words, 0.6 to 1 liter per day. The salivary uh, secretion, it varies throughout day. For example, stimulated saliva produced in response to stimulus such as food. It is 2 to 5 ml per minute, while in resting conditions, for example, at night, the salivary flow volume, it reduces and it reduces to 0.2 to 0.4 ml per minute. Now, uh, what is the normal pH of the saliva? So normal pH is around neutral. So the pH of saliva is 6.7 to 7.4. So what is the composition of saliva? As I have already mentioned that saliva, it comprises of 99% water and the remaining 1% it comprises of inorganic and organic part. So that inorganic and organic part, it comprises of electrolytes, proteins and peptides. It also comprises of immunoglobulins organic molecules, and there are some other miscellaneous components as well. For example, in the electrolytes, sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarbonate, calcium, magnesium, thiocyanate, and fluoride. These are the electrolytes that are mainly present in the human saliva. There are some proteins and peptides such as amylase, Proline-rich protein, mucins, histatin, cystatin, uh, statherin. Uh, these are the various proteins that are present in the human saliva. Immunoglobulin, for example, IgA, which is a secretory immunoglobulin, and it is a main immunoglobulin that is present in the human saliva. It is also present. There are some organic molecules, for example, glucose, amino acids, urea, uric acids and lipid molecules. There are some other components, for example, epidermal growth factors, insulin and albumin. This magical fluid that is known as saliva and it contains all these ingredients to to, uh, together with the water, it performs many important functions that we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides. So, here in this pie chart, we have uh, categorized the salivary functions into three main areas. For example, the salivary functions that are associated with the food, functions that are associated with the teeth, and functions that are associated with, uh, with microbial balance in the oral cavity. For example, for food, Saliva, it comprises of, uh, for example, in composition, it comprises of water and mucins, so it provides lubrication. So it is easy uh, for the bolus formation and swallowing. Saliva, it also provided, uh, provides the sensation of taste as it solubilizes the food. Additionally, it has different components uh, that maintain the taste birds, for example, the epidermal growth factors. It also helps in the initial digestion, for example, the saliva, salivary composition, it has amylases and lipase. So they initially, they help in the digestion of food as well. So now come to the second area that is teeth. 
So saliva, it helps in the clearance of food from the tooth surfaces. So it prevent, uh, therefore, it prevents the demineralization of saliva. It is rich in calcium fluoride and other minerals. Therefore, it remineralizes the very small microscopic lesions. It also inhibits the demineralization as well. Now, saliva, it also maintains the microbial balance uh, within the oral cavity and it has various ingredients that are antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial. So in the next uh, slide, we will discuss these functions in, in, in more detail. So now the functions of saliva, for example, saliva has a buffering action. So if the pH of the oral cavity is acidic, so the carbonic anhydrases and the bicarbonates that are present in the human saliva, they try to bring the pH again towards the neutral. Secondly, saliva, it helps in the digestion, for example, lipase, lipase which help in the di initial digestion of fat and amylase that help uh, digestion of starch. There are mucins as well that help in the bolus formation and solving of food. It helps in the mineralization of the microscopic calcareous lesion uh, because the saliva it is rich in calcium, fluoride and phosphates. Therefore, it helps in the remineralization of the initial microscopic carious lesion. In addition to that, saliva has various proteins such as stethrin, which is one of the calcium binding protein. Saliva, it helps in the lubrication. Uh, for example, due to presence of mucins particularly. Uh, mucins, they also help in tissue coating, so it protects uh, the mucosal surfaces directly uh, from the injury. Uh, secondly, it also protect, uh, protect from the microorganisms so that they are not able to penetrate inside the uh, tissues. Saliva has antimicrobial function, so it is antifungal as well. And the main antifungal function is because of the presence of histatins. So candida is one of the fungus. So histatins, they basically, they prevent uh, the fungal growth within the oral cavity. Uh, there are some antiviral components in the saliva as well. For example, histatins, uh, they prevent the, they are antiviral. There are some antibacterial uh, ingredients as well, such as peroxidases and IgA. What IgA does, it binds to the microorganism, neutralizes toxins, and help in the elimination uh, from the body. So there's a question for you, which of the following immunoglobulin is primarily found in saliva? And these are the options, IgM, IgA, IgG, and IgG. So write the correct answer in the comments below. Also. Do give us your feedback in the comments. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.